So in this video we are going to introduce the concept of principal ideal domain. The definition is if we have a domain R, a principal ideal domain, um, is called a principal ideal domain if every ideal in R is a principal ideal. Please remember from the previous videos that a principal ideal is an ideal I in a ring R that is generated by a single element A of R. So if we have a ring R and an ideal I, okay, a principal ideal will be, a principal ideal domain will be, principal ideal is one generated by a single element. So a principal ideal domain, we say that uh, R is a principal ideal domain if every ideal in R is a principal ideal. So if we have a ring R and let us say we have uh, two ideals, ideal 1 and ideal 2, okay, so if the ideal 1 is generated by element A and the ideal 2 is generated by the element B, okay, they will be principal, ideal 1 will be principal, ideal 2 will be principal, so we call this ring a principal ideal domain because every ideal is a principal ideal domain, is a principal ideal, we say principal ideal domain because every ideal is principal or every ideal is generated by a single element. Okay, very easy to check that the ring of the integers is a principal ideal domain. Obviously, point number one, point number two, every field is a principal ideal domain. We saw that in previous videos, it's really easy to check. 3. If k is a field, then the ring of polynomials um, is a principal ideal domain. This is more or less obvious. And the fourth point, I will get back to this, if k is a field, um, um, if k is a field, I will get back to this, if k is a field, then we have a division algorithm for this. Okay. And those fields um, where you have uh, for, for the ring of polynomials, okay, where in the ring of polynomials you have a division ring, they are called, called Euclidean rings. Okay? And my point is that Euclidean rings are also principal ideal domains. We will get back to this. Okay? Um, it's more or less obvious that for commutative rings not always the ideal is a principal ideal. Very easy to get some examples where you have ideals that are not principal. So another definition here. If um, we have an element delta in a commutative ring. Um, so delta will be the greatest common divisor of elements alpha and beta if two things happen. One, if delta is a common divisor of alpha and beta and two if let us pick an element gamma is any common divisor if gamma is a common divisor of alpha and beta we have if gamma is a common divisor of alpha and beta we have uh, gamma divides delta. Here we have to say if gamma is any 
very important this word <coughs> if gamma is any common divisor okay so delta is a common divisor and gamma is any other common divisor so if gamma divides delta then we say that delta is the greatest common divisor of alpha and beta this is more more or less obvious from basic number theory but we are going to have some surprises here okay some other quick theorems so let r be a principal ideal domain every alpha and beta in the principal ideal domain has a greatest common divisor delta and this this delta is a linear combination of alpha and beta let us say delta is sigma times alpha plus thou times beta where sigma and thou are in the ring of course two if an irreducible element pi is in the ring or in the principal ideal domain so if this irreducible element pi divides the product of alpha and beta so if pi divides alpha and beta that means that either pi divides alpha or pi divides beta mm -hmm.